What a world where the, all that you do is basically waiting for a sun and uh, spending time and money on works of art. Let's <laughs> go forward with that, what we currently do. And yeah, we have saved one of our counties for one of our possible sons, but ah, having the youngest formed an alliance. Oh yes, oh my goodness. Well, well, well. Um, Maybe we need to give one of our daughters a realm. It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child that we have all hopes for our wife to bear as a son. It's surely causing some humoral unbalance that is affecting her mood. I will... Um... Hmm. Should we buy her something nice? Yeah, that's maybe on the other hand we're lovers so we'll spend some time with her that could also be the best thing to do she's comforted by that of course yeah, we've had our disagreements but then love came along again and we're on that course, on that course. She's in hiding, as is usual, for the final months of a pregnancy. An affair between my concubine Wolfhild and Balder of Salzburg, my heart is broken. <gasps> Balder of Salzburg. She's an adulteress. She has borne us two children, but now we cannot, we cannot go for this. Let's, let's see who we can uh, marry her with. Balder of Salzburg. We need to set her aside, but like the other way. Um, Balder of Salzburg. This man, again. Ah. He's already married. Just great. Now, who is at our court? Who is at our court? Who seeks love and is worthy of uh, procreating? Maybe, maybe Hestein, our commander. Mm, we don't really like him. Kethil is, is looking for love and he's good at learning. He's a mystic. Why not give him that chance? Here we go. No longer our concubine. That's that's the that we solve that the elegant way, and uh, we'll seek, of course, for a new and beautiful concubine to bear us a son. A son. That's what we want. A beautiful son. Here we go. Um, Gerrit Iliana. Wow. She's attractive. She's groomed. She's kind. She's temperate. She would make a fine concubine, but we won't get her as a concubine. But we can invite her to court. Here we go. Iliana. Oh. Mm. oh, look. <laughs> King Snorri has quite won some areas here for the realm. Nicely done, Snorri. 
That's good. It was really good. Iliana the Heavenly, our niece. Oh my goodness, but she's so beautiful. How can anyone not try to, uh, well, get beautiful children with her? A daughter was born named Sarah. Name her after the mother. <laughs> A daughter. The man of many daughters, that's who we are. Three. She's prideful. Well, she would be. She would be. Care for our daughter. My wife. Care for her. <sighs> My goodness, Salomia. Oh, um, also the war chief of the Jumps Vikings is getting a lot. And here we can negotiate with someone. Not really great. Snorri kindly suggests that it would be of benefit to the realm if I studied the languages spoken at foreign courts. He also offers himself to aid me in my studies. He, is he good at that? But we would owe him a favor. No. They can't speak Norse. They are not important. Mm, uh. <sighs> Owing a favor is really, really bad. No. Will not do it. We know about the consequences of this. This, and we're shy now. <laughs> we don't want to talk about this anymore. We have a new heir, Sunni Magnison, our son, Salomia, named Sunni. Sunni. Well, she's probably chosen that name for us, for him, and. Uh, Got a seven in the fate roll. That's heritage. We'll re-roll that. It's, it just make no, makes no sense. We've got a four now. Which is struggle and which is good. He's... Oh my goodness. He's a dwarf. Uh, well, we know that, that our grandfather liked dwarves, so we'll name him Tolier, actually. He's a dwarf, but he's a son, finally. And dwarves have been known uh, to be the antagonists of uh, of the giants, of course. And that, yeah, we're constructing something there in our mind to make them aesthetically pleasing. That is really not a disadvantage. And we will help the, him in any in any way that we can. To make him one of the greatest men who ever lived. And with that, um, I can think we can choose a new focus. Uh, the question would be scholarship or theology or maybe going back to hunting. But we are still a craven. So I think we would go to learning and aesthetics and all of these things to go around. We still want to groom an heir, but we love culture and we love exploration here as well. Build an observatory. What's going on with the plots? Can you stop the plots, please? This is getting out of hand. It's just too much. Began construction of an observatory. It will take some time to collect all the necessary materials and get everything in order. I cannot wait. We will watch for the stars. Hippocost has finished for the statue of great Thor. Thor. 
and uh, heating pipes would be the next ones uh, statue retinue yeah not so much yeah let's go for the heating pipes here we go and um, what else would we be going for now probably try to compose a book maybe one day search for a smith but we don't have enough money for that right now so here we go what in Kuloi you have come to Ku Where's our... Oh my goodness, we've sent our retinue over there. Uh. Sometimes we're just bleeding. You get together here. We need to pick up everything on the way. goodness terrible Birgitta has improved significantly at least that excellent oh yes um, do we have her in that thing no the fry dog rough terrain expert here we go you pick up more troops Mm. Everyone's inheriting. Yeah, searching for a smith is maybe not that important. But a new book for Odin's collected wisdom. That would be fine. There's a crusade against us. Let's go for the other side. Join the defenders. And that's fine. And we've lost faith in our guy here trying to gain all. And let's just perform statecraft been known as the just and maybe that that just gets us away from this um heber's host he's moving to fillet snora snoper i mean let's go to villet if it needs be I'm concerned about the future of my dear son Tolia. This realm requires a strong and healthy heir in order to prosper. And it's my duty as a responsible Germanic Emperor to take all possible precautions. Uh, yeah. Guard him from every danger. Our daughter is also guarded. going on here hmm nothing much we need to rest in Kuloi of course what a terrible mistake we've made let's go back to Kuloi then we'll be fine your observatory is finally ready it is with great anticipation that you prepare to make your first observations I wonder what strange things I will discover ah <sighs> It's going to be good. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to learn so much. Our son will be the greatest dwarf that ever lived if we, if we share this knowledge with him. We've got a dwarf, really. It's, it's a shame. <sighs> Hmm. 
Well then, uh... well then. Merseburg, yeah, that's that's also where the magic of Merseburg was, um, like the sorcery of Merseburg. So that's very interesting. And the people of Meronea, okay. Um, the Keton armies have had another victory against the neophytes. Thankfully. That's still happening out of our realm or something like that. What Baskiria has visited, has been visited, um, a non-aggression pact between them and us. Respectfully disagree. <laughs> um, I welcome any visitors. Strengthen the Orthodox religion. I don't know. Uh, not really. These orthodox barbarians, right? They have to see the true faith. The true faith. Ilva Dovre died of cancer, our half-sister. Oh no. Well, she's had enough kids i guess among them this man who is successful in his own way probably <laughs> that sounds really bad <laughs> oh, but she's had kids and heirs and that's fine <sighs> well 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 Our dwarf. What duchess Ilva the Heavenly is dragged along our kinswoman and advisor, the duchess of Finland. Attractive, so aesthetically pleasing, scarred, gregarious. I, I like it. At a, at a, <sighs> I mean, okay, we can brand her, but really not much more, please. Duties of Jamtaland seeks to fabricate a claim. Ah, yeah. You've spent many nights looking at the stars in your observatory. It's truly fascinating. There are so many questions to ask. Is there something strange out there? Are we... Are we like that? Or how do the stars move? Uh, something strange? I don't know. We'll, we'll go for... Uh, if I roll a 1 to 10, we'll go for the stars move. And 11 to 20, it will be strange. Fourteen. Is there something strange out there? A cosmic horror, maybe. Heating pipes in the great statue of Thor. So that's going to be nice. We can expand that. Um, once we have a ton of wealth for the statue, I mean, that's a little bit, a uh, little bit over the top. We didn't initiate that statue and it's not our main focus, but these little additions were just fine. We can imprison this man. Although end his plot and 
Raiders. Raiders. Where again? There are the Raiders. It's fine. Slowly getting the hang of it, but what's going wrong there? Okay, we need the soldiers, of course, that's important, but other than that, County of Rouen is not going to be in danger. Sigbjörn, let's get the band of warriors. Okay, he wants to raid foreign lands. He's one of the Dovres, too. Reginlind. Brigitte, all these intrigues. Fate smiles upon me. My wife Siva is pregnant again. Excellent. What was that sound? Oh, our mother died. <gasps> Thor is the shield maiden. Oh well, mother, we will miss you. We will really miss you. Mother was such a beautiful woman. In her own way, she died a natural death. Siva is pregnant. Maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get another, another boy. We could now compose a book, but we will save up. Our refer is finally dead. That man who hated us, and now we have another refer who really, really likes us and is very useful. So here we go. Composing a book. Uh, yeah, once we have a little bit more. Observing the stars at night, you have begun to sense some irregular movements. You also notice that some stars seem to appear and disappear at odd times. You need to study this more. That star there disappears when you look directly at it. We're paranoid. <gasps> what kind of direction does this take us? We have the dark side here, our courtier and Prince Bodig of Madrigrib. Well then. We have so many daughters. Björg is pregnant as well. <gasps> She's got cancer. A mild illness and a mild treatment. Whew. Ilyana the Heavenly. Oh, there's wars everywhere. And the income is really suffering. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Holding a great blot. Yeah, that cannot be postponed. Let's see about our prisoners. We have the chief of Orland and we have Ragnar. Uh, he is a Dovre. <sighs> Would we banish him? No. We could ransom him. Let's do that. Is as it is, and then hold a great blot. Send out summons to all of your vassals for the blot. Those that have been baptized or follow the teachings of the prophet will have to offer go to be exempted from this magnificent feast. I can hardly wait to start this and uh, we'll start it in the next episode. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Manuel Khan signing out. See you soon. Have a great time until then.